objects with smooth and rough surface. Friends, today we will learn about the things around us with smooth or rough surfaces. Hey Appu, what are you doing here? Look Jaggu, I have two similar balls. When I roll them like this, the ball rolls down faster on this wooden slope. But on this other slope, the ball rolls down slowly. Why is it so Jaggu? Hey Appu, your balls are similar, but the slope of these wooden planks is not the same. I did not quite understand. Look here, just look at the surface of this slope. Our hand slides smoothly and easily on the things which have a smooth surface. We also call them smooth surfaced. Now look at this slope. Its slope is very rough. Now come, touch it and feel it. Mmm. My hand is sliding on this. Its surface is very smooth. Yes, Appu. The surface of few things are smooth. So our hand easily slides on them. This is called a smooth surface. Come on, now touch and feel the slope. Oh, its surface is too rough. Yes, correct. This slope has a rough surface. Which means, this is a rough surface. Appu, when the surface of an object has a hole, knot or if it is bumpy, we call that surface a rough surface. Which means, the surface is rough. Our hand cannot slide on it easily. Yes. Now I understood. The ball rolls faster on this wooden slope because this slope has a smooth surface which means it is very smooth. And the ball rolls slowly on this slope because this slope has a rough surface which means its surface is very rough. Well done, Appu. Hey, Jaggu, I am very hungry. Come on, let us go to the kitchen and eat something. Yes, let's go. Hey, Jaggu, do eatables also have smooth or rough surfaces? Yes, Appu. Look. Here are some vegetables and fruits. Now blindfold yourself and touch and feel these things. This is bitter gourd. It has a rough surface. Mmm, this is capsicum. It has a smooth surface. And this is a bottle gourd. This too has a smooth surface. Absolutely right, Appu. Come on. Now try and feel these fruits. Hey, my hand is not sliding easily on this surface. This is a pineapple with a rough surface. And my hand is sliding easily on this surface. So, this is a watermelon with a smooth surface. Oh, wow, Appu. Well done. Okay, Appu. I will take your leave now.
Okay then. See you again. Bye. Okay, so today we have learned about the things that are around us with smooth and rough surfaces. In the next video, we will learn the characteristics of the round things that are around us. Spin, roll and slide. Friends, today we will see those things around us that can spin, roll or slide. Hey Appu, what are you doing with this top? Hey, Jaggu, I am actually spinning this top. Give it to me. Even I want to spin it. Take it. Even I can spin the top, Appu. I am having a lot of fun. Hey, look, Appu. I can even roll this top just like this. Yes, we can. Actually, roll and spin the top. Come on, Appu. Let us look for more things that can spin and roll. Yes, yes. Look, we can roll this CD on its curved surface and also spin it like this. Hey, we can even Slide the CD like this on its flat surface. Oh yes. Come on, let us look for more things that can roll and slide. Yes, let's go. Hey Jaggu, is it possible to spin this ball round and round? Yes, Appu. We can actually spin this ball round and round. And we can also roll it like this. Oh, but its shape is not round like a ball. But still it can roll. Yes, Appu, all the things with a curved surface can roll. Jaggu. Look, we can also roll this glass like this. Yes, look here. This plate is also rolling like the glass. Oh, wow. Look, Appu. We can slide this bowl on its flat surface and also spin it like this. Oh, wow! Look, we can slide this plate like this and also spin it on its curved surface like this. Yes! Now look, we can even slide this glass and also spin it like this. Yes, Jaggu. But the plate stops after spinning a little and the glass keeps spinning for a longer time. <laughs> you are right, Appu. Come on, let us look for more such things. All right, let's go. So children, today we learned about the things around us that can spin, roll or slide. In the next video, we will learn to make a tower.
Come on, let's make tower. Friends, today we will learn to build a tower in an interesting way with the things around us. Hey, Appu, what are you doing? I am keeping the books in the cupboard and making a tower of them. But it keeps falling again and again. Appu, you are placing the smaller books at the bottom and big books on the top every time. That is the reason it's happening. See, Appu, the tower will remain stable only if you place big books at the bottom and small books on top of that. Oh yes, now I understand that to build a tower, the bigger books should be placed at the bottom and the remaining books should be placed on top of them according to their size. Yes, the tower will gain stability, balance and strength with the big books kept at the bottom. It will support the weight of the small books. Wow, Jagu, you have given me great information. Come on, let's play. Yes, there is something in this box. Jagu, open this box. Oh, these are solid objects in different shapes. Can you name these solid shapes? Yes, this box is actually of a cuboid shape. This looks like a cube. This joker's cap is cone shaped. This is cylindrical and this is round like a ball. Oh wow, Appu, you know everything. Joku, just tell me. Can you make a tower using these solid shapes? Yes. Look, this cuboid with a bigger surface comes at the bottom. Above it this cube, above it a cylinder and the cone shaped object will be placed right at the top. Hey Jagu, why didn't you use the round object to make a tower? Because a round shape has a curved surface and if I make a tower with it, it won't remain stable. Oh wow Jagu, now I will also make it. Look, first I place the cube, above it the cylinder, above it the cone shape, above it the cuboid. Oh, 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 uh, it fell down. Why did this happen? Oh, Appu, if you place any other object on top of the cone, then this is bound to happen because its tip is pointed. While making a tower, objects of such shape should always be placed only on the top. Now I understood. I will make it again. This cuboid at the bottom. Above it, the cube. Above it, this cylinder. And above it, this cone shape. See, the tower is made. Now I understood that we cannot make a tower using round objects. And that cone shaped objects should only be placed on top of the tower. <laughs> this, this was, was fun. fun. Wow, Appu, you are very intelligent. Okay, I shall leave now. See you again. Bye bye. Bye. So, children, today we saw how Jagu and Appu made a stable tower. You too can try to build such a tower 
using all the things that are available around you. In the next video, we will learn counting in groups through examples. Thank <laughs> you.